cool. cool. All right, wow. meteorologist Lauren Casey joining us now a little quieter than it was yesterday. A little quieter, <laughs> thankfully, yes. Yeah. Still some sunshine in most areas, but other areas seeing some storms, and the National Weather Service has just issued a severe thunderstorm warning for parts of the area north and east of the city. So we'll check in what's going on right now on Storm Scan 3. Have some storms, but not nearly as widespreading coverage as they were this time 24 hours ago. But still, the storms that form over the next several hours do have that potential to be strong and potentially severe. And we do have the severe thunderstorm warning in effect now until 545. And Trenton is included in this warning that is going to go until 545 for the possibility of 60 mile per hour winds and half dollar size hail that will do damage to vehicles. So portions of Bucks County, Burlington County, Mercer and Ocean County within this warning. You can see some of the towns Trenton, Florence, Chesterfield, Bordentown in this warning as well as well as Ben Salem. The cell moving to the northeast at about 15 miles per hour. So the heaviest portion of the cell right now is over the Florence area stretching up into Bordentown where you could potentially be seeing that half dollar size hail. So you want to seek safe shelter right now. It will continue to move off to the northeast pretty slowly again around 15 miles per hour. It's around 528 heads up Hamilton and then eventually moving up towards Manalapan as we head into 630. Do you have some light rain? Not a severe thunderstorm warning, but still probably chasing off a few beach goers off the shore right now. Light rain making its way through portions of Cape May County and the cloud deck starting to push it into AC right now, taking away some of your sunshine. And as we head into tonight, we do have that chance of some hit or miss thunderstorms that could be on the stronger side. Low temperature at 71 degrees tonight and for our day tomorrow, pretty quiet day. Mostly sunny chance of a thunder shower, mainly well west of I-95, staying dry east of I-95 and a high temperature at 89 degrees, so kind of right around average. Future weather showing us as we head into the evening hours still do have that chance of a few hit or miss storms as we head into the overnight period. Again, could see maybe an isolated storm, otherwise dry conditions. As we check out Friday morning, no problems for your commute the last day of the work week. Then you do see some of these cells firing up again, mainly west of 95 as we head into the evening hours. Beautiful day down the shore. We will start to see the cloud deck increasing tomorrow night with a cold front that is going to move through and bring us some showers and thunder showers as we head into early Saturday morning. But then Saturday afternoon, gradual clearing, decreasing humidity, 84 degrees. Sunday still on track to be gorgeous. Sunshine, 82 degrees with that low humidity. Comfort index, yeah, tomorrow it is going to be a humid one, but the humidity levels are going to drop off on the backside of that frontal boundary, especially late by late day on Saturday. And then by Sunday, it's just going to be feeling so pleasant, certainly by August standards. Down the shore tomorrow, mostly sunny, but we do have that chance of a thunderstorm at night on the sand temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s with that south wind at around 10 miles per hour. UV index with all that sunshine is going to be very high. Good news, though, rip current risk is going to be low, so not a bad pattern as we head into the next several days. Save that chance of a few morning thunder showers on Saturday. It's going to be pretty nice as we head into Sunday, but then the rain chances return as we head into Monday, but then we clear things out once again as we head into Tuesday.